thing of the week, thing of the week, it's your e-ink thing of the week, yeah! Hello there! In a previous video, I did a demonstration of how, in under 10 minutes, you can create your own custom templates for your e-ink device um, using Microsoft Word and then importing that to most of the major uh, e-ink device manufacturers, such as Books, Big Me, Supernote, and so on. Uh, now, one of the questions that came out of that video was if you could add links to the templates. So I kind of have good news and bad news about that. We'll start with the bad news. So unfortunately, as far as I can tell, the way that templates are treated is that they're a background image. There's no interactivity with the template. So I don't believe that in the note-taking app, when you create one of these PDF templates, that there's any way to interact with those links. Now, if I'm wrong and there's a way to do it, please put that in the comments below. But as far as I can tell, there isn't. However, there is a way to still use a PDF file with links on your note-taking devices. And it's not through the note-taking app, it's through the reading app. So we're gonna go through basically the same process uh, in this demonstration of creating a Word document. In this case, we'll put in some links and we'll show the different types of links that you can do. And then we'll use the reading app to show how uh, this works on an e-ink device. So this is the closest I could come to that question of links in a template. So why don't we go ahead and take a look and see how it works. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a document that I've kind of pre-created. And I didn't do too much to this document. It's in Microsoft Word. There's three pages. I've written some text here called top of document and I made the font size large. Then I uh, just inserted an image on page two. So that's literally just a picture I inserted. And then finally I put some text at the bottom called bottom of document. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about two types of links that you can insert into the file. One is a link that allows you to move within the file, and the other is a link to a web page. We'll start first with links within the file. Now before we can create the links, we have to be able to create what I call targets, so what the link is going to. And the way that Microsoft Word handles this is you can either set a header or you can set a bookmark. Um, I prefer uh, bookmarks, but I'll do an example of each. So here in this document, we see uh, top of document is the text written on top. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. And you'll notice that up above, there's this area called styles. And there's a selection called heading one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. Now heading one does two things. It creates this as a formal header, this text but it also changes um, the formatting of that text. Now I can go ahead and highlight this and go back to the text I had before, which I think was about 36 font and it was black. So I'll go ahead and do that. So it's, it's still a header. So you'll notice that uh, as I've selected the text, it still identifies as a header. I just went back to the previous formatting or what's similar to the previous formatting. Anyway, so we've created one target, so we've created one header. Let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the document, and we're gonna go ahead, and instead of using the header function, we're going to bookmark it. So if you go to insert, uh, there is a section under links called bookmark. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give the bookmark a name, and we'll just call it bottom. like so, and we'll add that in. Okay, so now we've done it. We've set two targets. We did it two ways, by setting a header and then by setting the bookmark. Let's go ahead and now insert links. So now that I've got this bottom of document already highlighted, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that. And then there's this uh, option to click on a link. I also could have gone up here and clicked on link. It goes to the same space, but I do prefer the uh, pop-up window. So by clicking on link, I'm gonna then select place in this document and I want it to refer to my header, which is top of document and I'll click okay. And now uh, my link's been created. You'll notice that it does the traditional formatting of turning this into you know, blue with an underline. Um, you can retain that or you can actually change the formatting here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I wanna 
get rid of the underline, and I'm going to turn the text black. Okay, so now the text looks exactly like it looked before, but you see as I hover over any of the text, I get this little pop-up message, which indicates that the link is still active. So you don't have to accept whatever formatting you get from either a header or a link uh, unless you want to. Let's go ahead and go back to the top where it says top of document. I'm going to highlight the text. I'll right click and then go down to link. And in this case, I'll refer to the bookmark that says bottom and I'll select OK. And I'm going to go ahead and just keep the formatting in this case. So that's an example of creating links that move between uh, places within the file. And in fact, let's go ahead and just demonstrate that. If I click control and then select the item, it takes me to the bottom. And on this area, if I select control and left click, it takes me to the top. So now I have links in the file. I'm going to use this image to show a different type of link. And this is a link uh, to an external website. So I've already cut and pasted the web address that I'd like to link to, and I chose, of course, my YouTube channel, because why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the image. And again, I will get this pop-up window with the option to create a link. So I'll go ahead and select that. But this time, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this option to either refer to an existing file or a web page. And then down below where it says address, I'll go ahead and paste in my address and then click OK. So now when I click on this image, um, it will take me to um, the web address. And we'll actually see that in action uh, when we do the demonstration on the device. I have now uh, saved uh, this device, uh, this file rather, as a Word document. And now I'll go ahead and save it as a PDF document. And then we're going to go ahead and import that uh, onto the device, and then we'll see it in action. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into this app called Storage. I'll click on that. Then I'm going to go into Documents. Now, if I click on this icon up here, by the way, you see the complete folder structure. So regardless of where I would have put the file, I could have found it uh, that way. But I'm going to go ahead and just go into Documents here. And there is the file that we saved, the PDF of Demo of Links. So we'll click on that. It's opening up Neo Reader. Okay. And there we see uh, the top of document link. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It takes us to the bottom. If I click on bottom, it takes us to the top. So it works. Let's go ahead and scroll. Get to that. There is the icon. So I'm click it once. The web page comes up. I'm going to click it again. And it's actually going to open up Neo Browser and it's going to go to my channel. So the links all work. Let's go ahead and go back to the document. Now, this is not as elegant as the note taking app, but most of the basic functionality, anyway, that you find in the um, note-taking app is here. So we can pull up the pen tray, for example. You have your, your all your different pen styles are available, all the different colors, your line thickness and what have you. You have an eraser function. Uh, you have the lasso tool um, and you have, uh, you can insert text boxes. You can actually customize your floating toolbar. So there, those are all the different options that you have. So in using the Neo Reader versus the note-taking app, you do lose some functionality. I'll just point out one particular example, which is layers. So yeah, you've got a template now that you can write on top of, but you don't have layers beyond that. Let's go ahead and say write it down here. Like so. And of course I can change the thickness and make that look a lot better. Um, all the uh, basic writing functionality is there, and but now you've got the addition of links in the file. So that's how you do that. If you have any questions about that, let me know, and hopefully I, you found this helpful.